Hey guys, it's uh, Media Magnet again. This time I'm not hosting, I'm running something. And I'm joined by Kage, Yuki. Hey! And we're going to run two different Final Fantasy XIV speedruns. The first one's going to be um, A Realm Reborn, All Trials, and then right after that we're going to head into Heaven's Word, All Dungeons. Um, there was a bid war going to pick our race, and as you can see, we're really short because Lala fell one. <laughs> And unless you got anything extra to say, Kage, uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, not much. Most of the stuff I can explain is during the run itself. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to notice uh, all trials is going to go by really fast for a little bit because the first couple, we are 60 levels over <laughs> what, it, what it was designed for. So it, it's going to speed by a little bit here. Yeah. First couple are just going to go absurdly fast. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're ready, I'll, ca I'll count us down and start the ti timer and then cue us in. All right. I'm ready you, did, you are. Before I hit, you did remember to turn on Intersize Party, right? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I have to ask because we've forgotten that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, we're both playing as DPS, so the game went, went, all right, 50 minutes later, you'll be ready to go. Yeah, we would have figured it out fairly quick. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's going to be a really quick one and done here. I'm just going to, yeah. That's kind of good to be like, uh, all trials in it's gonna be for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be the, at least the first three for sure is going to be that quick. Um, you can see my chat down the lower corner of the screen. And each dungeon will have a completion time when you finish each dungeon or trial. That one took four seconds. The timing uh, will start basically like the, like a split second before the gate drops and lets us through. Um, yeah. The delay is this... pretty much to allow everyone a time to load in and prep, more or less. Yeah. Now, this one does have some uh, forced phase po um, phases, so we can't just cheese this one. We do have to do a little bit. Um, but we will jump through like three phases, phases at once, usually. There are, um, yeah. He's There's one phase. Doing phase pushes. Uh, there are a couple of trials, despite us being, you know, like we said, 60 some levels over what it requires. Uh, we can still die. Yeah. Titan here is one of them. All forms of Titan, because A Realm Reborn loves Titan. Yeah. The other one being, um, Odin. Odin can kill us if we're not careful. Leviathan Extreme can kill us if we're not careful, because you can fall off the arena. Yeah. You know, then there's the infamous Cape West Wind. Hardest trial in the game. Hands down. Uh, I think there are any other trials that are at least coming to mind right now that are saying, hey, uh, we could still die on this. If yeah. we hit it and it kind of clicks, I'll say it. What's interesting, uh, I will say for sure, but these first couple trials with Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, the first three are meant to be run with a light party. That is uh, four people. All of the other trials in the game are meant to be run with a full party, which is eight yeah. players. Uh, you're... Yeah, I might as well see if I get the combo build. Sometimes I can. So on my on my screen, I, I know you can't see Kage's because. Uh... PS4 and not have a capture card, which is fine. I've got gauges I can fill up as I do attacks. Um, it'll be easier to fill those up in the later run in the all all try all all dungeons. But in the in this one, it's pretty much just see if I can get them off because they do hit pretty hard. Here's the hardest one. It it's amazingly hard. So many mechanics. The 
for you'd think the uh, first eight person trial in all of Final Fantasy 14 wouldn't be difficult, but this is infamous. Um, and it's raining. Of course, it's raining. Why is it it's always raining, raining when I'm here in Thanalan? <laughs> Wait, this is. I, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, no one's. Yeah, not. and that was Cape <laughs> Westwind. <laughs> Uh, that one's always joked to be extremely difficult because it's the first eight person. So all of mm -hmm. like the brand new players that are called Sprouts, uh, because they have a little sprout icon next to their player name to indicate they're new, um, always kind of panic when they see, hey, it's an eight person trial. Oh my gosh. And then everyone's so over geared. We just blitz through and don't even trigger yeah. like any of the mechanics, even with level six. This one, um, back when you were at level four, had an interesting mechanic where it would slow time down. So any like effects you had on you, like poison or hollowed ground would last extra long. Now it's just a, we beat this guy up and we walk away and this does have orbs in it. So. Does have a forced orb mechanic. I was really hoping I could get off that other player four though before he did that. Speaking of orbs. 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 So in this, um, since we're unsynced, we really don't have to go around and collect the orbs. Uh, the more orbs he touch that get to the center here, the more damage his big attack he's charging up does. But it just it, it takes the same amount of time regardless if the orbs touch him or not. So may as well. Really though, I'm just damage. trying to see how many stacks I can get on myself before hitting the other flavor of orb. Oh, you're playing that game. Got it. I'm at four. <laughs> um so I'm playing a samurai. Kage's playing a black mage. Uh, a couple of runs I, th I will change it up just to because there's moves that look cool on other classes and I like showing them off so um, we did skip the void tear or yeah the dimensional rip that he does uh, funnily enough even though we are extremely over geared when level sit even with level sync uh, that dimensional tear s is still an extremely hard uh, damage check or check. Yeah. And you actually have to use your limit break level three to get through, or the whole party wipes. Uh, the yeah. chrysalis really sucks. <laughs> it's not. It's not a fun fight. Uh, this one is another not a fun fight, but for different reasons. Um, this one, when actually running this uh, in a synced party, which means you're at the same level as the content. You have to chase this dragon pretty much all the way across the bridge to kill it. Um, with us being over leveled, I'll be lucky if it makes it to the first barrier. Can't let him step on you, uh, or you pretty much die because he does stupid damage. Which, you know, it makes sense. He's a big dragon, it's going to hurt. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, he does stun us, but we do get immune to it, uh, which is kind of nice. Yeah, pretty much every time you're hit with something like a stun, you gradually build an immunity to it, and then after a couple times, you completely shrug it off. Yep. Uh, that said, the inverse is also true. You can stun enemies, and they will gradually build up uh, an immunity to being stunned. Yeah. I'm just gonna go through yeah, and leave Diddy that way. Um, and then there are some fights that are from other games. Uh, because Final Fantasy XIV, their staff likes referencing other games. Um, so there is a Gilgamesh fight. You might know him from Final Fantasy V. Uh, there's also, also an Ultros fight from you know Final Fantasy VI. And you will, you will see those here fairly shortly. Um, there's two different... Uh, Greg fights, as he's called in, in the game story, because uh, the character who was talking about him cannot pronounce Gilgamesh. So they called him Greg. Much to uh, Gilgamesh's chagrin, that's kind of hilarious. Yes. Um, that entire quest line, it, it's called the Mandeville quest line. 
It's in three of the four expansions so far. Uh, it's in Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, Stormblood. <laughs> Shadowbringers does not have one yet. Uh, but, but there is references to it. Yeah. Um, there is like a Manderville Easter egg in one of the newest dungeons that came out with 5.3. Uh, 5.4 is coming out soon here in a couple weeks with the new story expansion, some new dungeons and trials, all that fun stuff. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll find some more hints to the next Manderville. It is yeah. it is such an off-the-rails storyline that I can't even explain it. Uh, um, it would be the closest I can think of, think of maybe like Phoenix Wright and its stories. Phoenix Wright, but made in Gmod? Yes. <laughs> uh, these two that we're doing, the Chimera and the Hydra, um, back in in each each expansion, there's the, the high tier of weapons, the relic weapons. These were the quests, the two fights you were required to do to unlock at the time the highest tier weapon. Um, somebody, not me, has all of them now. I think. Um, I have all the base forms. Yeah. Of the relic weapons I've, for a Realm Reborn, I've only taken two completely to the final stage. Because it's a nightmare to do. Um, I'm actually wearing one of them. Little Thrad Zeta. It's fancy, it's glowy, it's nightmare And then I'm using the um, Maleficent Magtana, I think it is. Um, as my character, or my... Maliferous Mughal Maktana. Um, and they have some hilarious names, like there's the Melancholy Mog Fork, um, which is the dragoon's weapon. And it is a literal fork for the dragoon. With with a Mughal hanging off the edge of it that looks like he's saying, yes, stab them. Fine. I admit it. Fighting all eight of you. And here's the uh, Gilgamesh, the first of the Gilgamesh fights. Not half my life. Why? I've been hurt. This is far from the strongest of the years. I feel so strangled in space. I uh, So this fight is done in two parts with some uh, trash in the middle here. As they try to hit us, I heard one of them go whack. Or maybe you hit them with the staff. Uh, yes. maybe. I spun around yeah. with a scathe anyway. I heard a donk. <laughs> so I think you got an auto attack off. Probably. Um, Clash on the big bridge. I see. I have. I do have the chat open, so I am kind of glancing at it every once in a while. Clash on the big bridge has always been one of my favorite songs in Final Fantasy. <laughs> So he has an attack called Mini, which will, on law, he'll be even more hilarious because it's not Mini, it's Micro. Yeah, it shrinks you down, it reduces your attack stats and your defense stats, and you need a microscope if you're a Lollafell player. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, here's the dragon's neck. This is Ultros and uh, Typhon, mm -hmm. which are two uh, enemies, or two boss enemies from Final Fantasy VI. Um, they were in the used in the trope, the four fiendish battles trope that Final Fantasy has commonly. We will get like four fights with the same enemy, um, each one progressively harder or progressively sillier depending on the fight because Gilgamesh just stays hilarious all the way through five. Um, so what we're doing here is I'm taking on a uh, Typhon and Kage's beating up Ultras really quick, just to make it go quicker. The biggest uh, trick to this fight is this arena, if you get knocked off, you get stunned. Uh, which is really annoying because both of uh, bosses have knockback mechanics. Yep. Typhon can just send you flying. I mean, they both, they both can technically send you flying, and then you get stunned for several seconds. And it's an annoyance. <laughs> And we're up to the last uh, Gilgamesh fight. This one is also going to be in two phases. 
Just like the previous yep. one. I think my wheel fell off my chair. Again. Yay! Because <laughs> I just noticed I was leaning to one side. Well, please don't fall. I mean, I'll laugh, I will, but please don't fall. I will try not to. Um. So you might notice my HUD doesn't look like a normal one for what you get on like a keyboard. Person playing this on keyboard. Since I'm crazy and I play controller and I have some fu functions bound to keyboard also. Just uh, stuff I don't use that much, like mounts, some skills that are only useful in certain situations. I and I'm super trained. And I've been slowed. Slow is literally like the worst uh, effect to get hit with us, Black Mate. Oh, yeah. The problem with uh, all trials is this goes by so fast, it's really hard to explain everything that we're doing. Yeah. Um. um. We'll definitely be explaining a lot more on how the game works and stuff through dungeons. Because yes. Final Fantasy XIV as a whole has a really cool story <laughs> um, as a game. But um, if you do play it and you do get into it, expect to ride the feels trip because it will hit you in the feels. Was I stunned? That was weird. I couldn't attack. Uh, it was probably slow. So what slow does is not only does it make it a lot for a caster anyway, doubles your cast time, and it doubles your global cooldown. And a black mage is a class where you want to go as fast as possible. It is the only job that doesn't hurt from going particularly fast. Now here's where the um, scale of the fight starts to get a little bit more. The HP pools get bigger because. By this point, you're meant to be at level 50, so... Well, most of these most recent ones, except for the first three, you're meant to be at level 50 by this point, so they drastically increase the um, HP pools each, pretty much each fight. So yeah, even me as a black mage with the obscene amount of damage that I do, I, I can't one-shot Ifrit anymore. As opposed to, you know, our first uh, appearance of Ifrit, I just kind of looked at him funny and he died. Yeah. A Real Reborn in particular really likes Ifrit, Garuda, and Titan. Uh, mm -hmm. You have three different versions of them. And then they pop up again <laughs> in, uh, in Shadowbringers. Uh, in they Remix, did vary it up a little bit, the order, of, yeah, the order they show up in is different than these, where the first time it was Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, now it's Ifrit, Garuda, Titan. Next one it'll be Garuda, Titan, Ifrit. Yeah. So... They do try to mix it up, the, the formula up a little bit, but they're just progressively hard, harder versions of the same enemy. Yeah, even like their basic mechanics really doesn't change. Like, Gruda, you're supposed to protect these. Hello. I thought I face pushed her. I thought so too. Yeah, oh, there she goes. Okay. Um, Gruda, you still have to protect these pillars because you have to hide behind them with her big attack here called Aerial Blast. Um, use them as a shield. Uh, it, 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 it just tickles a little. Yeah. Oh, uh, she's still Could invincible. Just... Gruda um, is the only of the main three primals with an invincibility phase that doesn't have a uh, arc that you can see. I got myself. <laughs> 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 so what he was trying to do was something called loot bombing, where you open the chest and then leave the instance. The problem is he was a little too slow on the trigger there, and he loot bombed I himself. Targeted at the same time as you just disappeared. I was like, ow. 
So here we are again with our buddy Titan. If you have uh, any kind of lag with Titan, Titan really sucks because he has an attack called Landslide. All forms of Titan have an attack called Landslide where he just sends you flying off the edge. It's and there's the, nothing you the can heat do. simulator. Yeah. Uh, you spend pretty much the entire the rest of the fight in time out as it took Square until late heaven's word to figure out oh hey we should probably teleport the dead player up onto the platform so they can be rezzed by the way you yeah. got this right Yay! yeah titan come back uh so this is gonna go a little little slower because uh kage did run off the edge so the big explosives are gone but that's fine i can still Hold my own. <laughs> landslide. Lawless. Lawless. Okay, landslide. Can't read that. Titan deciding to yeet a lawless. I'm gonna get jailed, I bet. Yep. Nope. Yep. Oh. The granite jail. So, uh. In this mechanic, you're supposed to break it as fast as possible so the other player doesn't die when this countdown happens. But Titan loves to prep a landslide right, right where the where granite jail out. is. So yeah. if you break it too fast, <laughs> um, there have been many times I have been freed. It's like, Fredo! And then I just get yeeted off the edge to my death. That time. Yeah. No, he's just going to kind of that last step we were in, landslides, um, bombs. He's just going to wash, rinse, repeat for the rest of the fight. So if uh, our host is back and has any donations, it's be a good time for him. I'm going with, no, they're not back. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Are you going to get granite jailed again? Yes. Is I'm RNG really again. being that bad to you? Yes, I, d I didn't uh, pay RNGs before we started. Funnily enough, RNG normally isn't a factor in this um, because we chew through them so fast. So I'm like, oh, hey, we'll, we'll be funny and I'll troll them a little bit. And then RNG decided I'm for all of the granite jails. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I do have a donation for you if you have the moment. Uh, this one's from It's wonderful to see this event finally come to fruition. Mental health is such an important thing to support. It has impacted me and many others to, I know so strongly. It's important to remember that even if we can't see it, it's still able to affect people more than we're likely to realize it. It's wonderful that we can get together and using that to support causes as important as this. May your I runs know. ever desync, and I wish you all the best as you keep <laughs> up this marathon. Thank I you got for that point $25 five. donation. Oh, wow. This is a... Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> An auto attack killed him. Uh, yes. I'm gonna leave it. This. Oh, and then I gotta fix my chair real quick while we're loading out. This next one's a bit of an odd one um and i'll get in a little bit more in final fantasy 14's history while we're doing all dungeons because a little bit more time it's a little easier to explain what's going on but between a realm reborn and the first expansion heaven's word there is a boatload of filler content um originally there was something in the lines of 140 quests you had to do before you hit the first expansion. They have since trimmed that down to about 70, I think? Um, it's still a stupid it's, amount. Yeah. Uh, and this is well, a result of one of them. Uh, good King Moogamog. The Moogles are revolting and we must stop them. Pretty much. The actual mechanic here in this fight, uh, we're 
Yes, you still have to beat all the Moogles. Oh, progress. This is the sa it's going to look exactly the same right here between a uh, uh, synced fight and an unsynced fight. Uh, because this whole part's scripted, basically. The only difference is how quickly we are nuking these poor little fluff balls. <laughs> Over 100 quests, really. It's just those six Moogles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they summon Good King Mooglemog. And the fight restarts. Uh, mechanically speaking, what you're supposed to do is beat the stuffing out of all these poor little Moogles again before attacking the king. Because for every Moogle that's still standing, his big attack... Uh, I almost killed him before the... Uh, yeah, his big attack memento Moogle. I have been stunned. Oh. Uh, does more damage depending on how many Moogles are alive uh, when he takes damage. So you can't attack the king, like, at all until all the Moogles are gone. Otherwise, his attack will just wipe the floor with all eight party members. Yeah, which was the hilarious thing was I almost had him dead before he went to that point. Yeah, my auto target decided I'm going to look at the little uh, bard that's sitting Fluff behind balls. him. Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't get my Xenoglossy off in time. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. And here we are to an yet another uh, Final Fantasy staple, Leviathan. Yep. Well, how do you fight a sea god that has controlled the water? You strap two giant warships together and make a platform to fight him. Take the, take the, take fight, the fight to, to him. him. Yeah. Meh. Wall we'll stay up in this one. Yep. And the extreme difficulty, he destroys these walls, and you can and will die. It's very unfortunate. But our dear friend Leviathan, much like all the other primals, has an invincibility phase. This is what we're on now. Kind of annoying. Oh, thank you, a paralysis tick. So what you're supposed to do is turn on this elemental converter that makes a big shield so this attack here doesn't kill you. Uh, because at level 50, that thousand points of damage will just destroy you. At level 80, it just kind of tickles. Yeah. <laughs> Invincibility phases are a um, staple mechanic of the game, sadly. What is? You broke up a bit. Invincibility mechanics are a oh. staple mechanic of the game. <laughs> yeah, here's another boss with an invincibility mechanic. Yep. But a really epic beard. Half man, half beard. Another beard, half beard. Half another beard. This is another boss with RNG, especially his extreme form, because he gives you something called Terrified, I think? Uh, Terrified, and there's also Seduction. Yes, it is. Me, me, I personally, more so Terror. I just got hit by it. Personally, I think it's the beard. Hey, I, I nuked you. Yes, I do agree with the chat there. Ramu, the boss who is 50% mana and 125% beard. Pretty much. I mean, look at that. Yeah. 
And in his later version, he's somehow part force. Look, we don't question the warrior of light's fantasies, okay? <laughs> no, we don't. Because it's the warrior of light that summons Ramu that time around, and... As someone who has done that, the savage version of that fight, it's really hard. I sometimes wonder if the reason why the, those versions of the primals are so weird looking is all the brain trauma that our characters have had. <laughs> from getting bashed around and everything from all of these uh, bosses. Probably. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Shiva, another staple summon or icon primal of the Final Fantasy series. Guaranteed with fan service. And lots of ice. And there oh. goes her invincibility phase. We tried. Honestly, the best it's... phase transition, though. I agree. Oh, definitely. Um, there are some other phase transitions that I really enjoy later on in the game. But this one is very iconic. Mm -hmm. Grace the serenity. Announce the hatreds that consume you. Scatter them. Dust to the wind. Sorry. Let's go. And we go full anime here with the uh, boss fight song for some reason. Oblivion is a great song, so. And then we're on to the ex streams. I don't know. I'm on well, actually, I think we got Ultima first and then the extremes, I believe. Uh, no, we have Odin. Odin. Odin is not considered a high-level duty for... That's right. ...some reason. Odin is, despite being level 50, can easily wipe the floor with us. I, um, our uh, level 80 characters. So be very mindful of the AoEs. Unlike last time we were practicing. Yeah, you just... You go like full Dragoo and, and just run into and eat the AoE. It's that one right there, uh, Valknut. It really hurts. Sad part is I have to stand in it being a melee. I just put my ley lines down, Lousy. Alright, fine, I'll take the slow. And Shin, uh, Dantet's Ken, is your first example of what is called an enrage mechanic. Mm -hmm. What that basically is, it's charging up an attack, and if you don't kill the boss before he finishes charging up that attack, you just wipe. There's nothing you can do about it. That is a staple of extreme difficulty fights, of the Minstrel's Ballad fights, which uh, we are actually going into the first of. Minstrel's Ballad uh, is basically the extreme version of all the endgame bosses. Ultimus Bane here is the quote-unquote endgame boss of uh, the base of Ram Reborn. And then the extreme, the Savage tier raids, which is basically the, the raids version of an extreme fight, also have enrages. And some of the non-savage ones have enrages also. They do, and it's very unfortunate. Yeah, this one, if you get to the... Um, this one's a rage is actually fairly simple. If you were to get...
side, I... Hmm. Is everything all right stream side? I keep seeing it refreshing over there. Welcome back to Garuda. Um, this one will go probably a little bit, not quite as quick. A question. Hmm. Can we change the summoner for uh, Ifrit so we can maybe push the nails? Uh, that's your call. Garuda, will you please drop your invincibility so I can pass? Thank you. We did skip the twins with Garuda. She summons like two clones of herself. Yeah. And they tether to her. And while she's tethered, uh, she gets a huge boost in defense and attack. So the whole point of that is you have to, as the off tank, grab the two um, clones and run away with them. Okay, Titan's next, so. Yeah, I am not going to purposely launch myself off of this one because Titan Extreme sucks. Yeah. Uh, three way, three way land slides, Titan hard. slides are not fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Titan Normal and Hard have a single landslide. Titan Extreme has a super small arena and three landslides. Yeah, you see that yellow part in the middle of the arena there that we're looking at? That's, where, that's all we're going to have here in about two seconds. Waste my triple cast because I know we're just gonna face push. Not as much as I thought, but hey. Yeah. Let's see, now we've got just the yellow. And now we're back to the hard fit heart phase. Um The music in this fight is very dynamic, it changes depending on which phase you're on. You'll you also see that in uh the binding coil. They use that a lot to just weave in different music. I don't think it's been used since. It's a cool feature, but they don't use it that often. No, typically you'll just see uh, the music change with the phase it transitions. Yeah. All right. Like one of the final change. trials in, okay, Shadowbringers. A couple of those final trials have some awesome music changes. Um, Seat of Sacrifice is a really good one. And then... Oh, yeah. I can't remember the actual trial name for Hades. I don't remember it off the top of my head either, but both of those were really good music. Um... Sokin did some amazing work with the music in this game, and I'm, I'm really excited to see what he does with 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had that on you. Too early. Don't care. Big dragon. Okay, my animation for my spell broke there. That was really <laughs> weird. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, so we are still forced in the nail phase yeah. because... Because I didn't put out uh, the pet, uh, pet thing. I forgot the skill I forgot what it was called. The ocean. Yeah, that would have... That's what pushed it in the past for us. Part solo really hurts because every time you destroy one of these nails, you get hit with a bone stack, which in turn makes you more vulnerable. Obviously, except for it says intent to attacks, and then you just kind of die because the explosion also hurts you. Uh, if Brent also hurts, I am in agony right now because Black Mage is an extremely squishy job. I help. <laughs> I 
All right, next we got... Yeah, I'm going to go back to Samurai. Which I get enough time in your loads to hit the button, so that's not too much of a problem normally. Ah. Oh. Back with the Moogles. Yep. Uh, this one, oddly enough, completely changes the mechanics. The beginning is the same. You still have to go through... Or no, it's not. The beginning is... Yeah, he just summons them all at once. Um, and in this one, the mechanic is the more of the little Moogles you kill, the more of his HP pool just stops existing. Because he spends HP to raise his little buddies. Yeah, it's called Noblesse of Rome. Noblesse of Lies or yeah. something? I can't, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, I, and then he hits a phase where he has to be killed. They all have to be killed or else you can't hit him like in the normal version. That's actually right. And then... It's his enrage mechanic that starts stirring them. Yep. Because he'll just continuously cast his big attack until either A, he kills you, or B, you blow him up. Whatever happens first. Yep. He just constantly casts Memento Moogle. is much the same as the hard version with the biggest difference uh, he breaks the railing on the ship so you can fall off and you do drown and then you spend the rest of the fight in timeout much like Titan because they still out yeah so since these last three fights here are pretty much rinse and repeat um a question I have for you, Media, is how did you, or when did you first start playing 14? How did you find the game? Uh, well, I got into the game when it came out. Um, not not 1.0, but ARR. Because um, of us, one of my friends, well, one of our friends, uh, Small Moon, kind of dragged me into the game mostly reluctantly. I was like, I don't want to play another MMO because I had been burned out on Guild Wars 1 and 2 at the time. I just didn't want to dive into another MMO. But I, I relented eventually and just have kind of stuck with it since. It's been a fun trip through the whole game. Ah, I went to the wrong side. Ow. Uh, when did you get into it? So, I'm... I didn't really start playing until late, late game with this. Um, I first tried the trial, uh, because the game does have a free trial, before Stormblood came out. And I had gone in thinking it was going to play kind of like Skyrim or something, because that was, that was pretty much my only experience with RPGs. I really hadn't played any Final Fantasies before then. Uh, and then eventually I picked up like 15. I didn't like 14 when I played it. Fair. Um, I couldn't really understand how MMOs played because I never played one growing up. I never really been allowed to play online games. Uh, so I had no idea how it was actually supposed to work. Hey, Kage. Okay. Uh, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Now, unlike um, um, Ifrit, I mean Titan, uh, you're not stuck at the bottom of the pill. I can still have my camera up here and see what's going on. So they were already making a step in the right direction of getting the body back onto the mat, but what are you going to do, arms lengthen? Yep. Still cast, or sure, sure cast. cast. It's great, because I can completely ignore that tilt yeah. mechanic. I saw I was like, great, we're going to have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I love scaring other players with stuff like that. <laughs> the, our healer and our static, I scare the daylights out of him with Shiva, uh, with Eden 8 Savage all the time because nice. of how I do some mechanics. So since these are kind of wash, rinse, repeat, if you got any more donations, this is a good time. Uh, no, we do not currently have donations, so guys, keep bringing them in. Let's get some uh, more donations going to support NAMI. Fair enough. Well, with finding, I guess what I was saying with finding 14, because um, I, I didn't like it, I gave it up. And then a few years later, not too long after Stormblood had launched, some friends pulled me into playing WoW. They had been playing WoW for like 10 years at that point, and they finally... I got hit with chaos, that is very unfortunate. Same. RNG, please. Um, I finally let them talk me into it. And having friends, it was a lot more enjoyable than my first experience with an MMO, which was 14, completely alone. And I kind of fell in love with... Funnily enough, doing stuff like grinding for mounts, and running dungeons and the kind of nonsense you see me doing all the time in uh 14 now and then battle for azeroth happened <laughs> and i i didn't buy battle for azeroth um i wasn't gonna drop the extra money on the game I took advantage of the fact that legion became free and was, I was having fun with Legion. I liked being able to play the Demon Hunter class. It was overpowered. It was stupid. It was enjoyable. Because <laughs> you started at like a level 100 um, at the time, which was great. But Battle for Azeroth pretty much completely turned my two friends off of WoW. And I started wanting to look for an MMO, and I remembered 14. So, hey, 14's got a free trial. Let's all start this. I'll reinstall it on my PlayStation, and I kind of fell in love with the game. Yeah, real quick, uh, just want to say this is where the all trials run would normally end, but we are going to go through an extra trial just to because it's such a fun fight and it just looks amazing and has some good music. So that is a very good point. Yeah. enough i don't think that that is a uh raid that doesn't have a savage bird yeah uh, t9 is one of the savage but... <laughs> we you still can't do 10 s with level 80s you still can't do t9 t non-savage yeah without like three of them all right that's close time I got stuck standing. I had my phone out. Well, I was going to do the Manderville and then I couldn't find it. And I clicked the first thing I could find. That's fair. Let me switch classes, because I want my wings. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the one that... That's the other one that can kill us. Uh, Bahamut. Yep. But it's not normally in the route, in the run, so... You know. Yeah, it didn't really cross my mind. Clear yep. selection, so I don't accidentally open Akafa again. <laughs> Final coil, turn four. This fight so, isn't so much his attacks hit so hard that hurts. It's um, the uh, the wall of it's death. It's death wall. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you touch that wall, you instantly die, no matter what you do. And Bahamut loves to launch you into that wall. I am going to do a countdown on this fight, by the way. Okay. No problem. Uh, yeah. Just so I can do my opener. That's fine. Seconds. Because even though, again, we're... 30 levels over this fight, uh, Bahamut still has an insane health pool. I can't even imagine doing this fight synced. Um, I still have not done this fight synced. I don't think I have either. I think when um, 
when I finally got around to clearing it, Heaven's Ward was out, so I was able to uh, run this as a level 60. And it was still a very, very real fight. <laughs> yeah, now we get to kind of phase push them like we did there. Yeah. Where are you? First twin. Right there. So yeah, he does that whole dive attack that launches you. What you're supposed to do is dodge it, but um, just running headlong into that attack. You can attack him because he's invulnerable to magic. Um, running headlong into that attack, I found, makes you invincible to the second dragon's dive. So you can't just get pinballed around into your death. Yeah. But if you're not paying attention... <laughs> Uh, that, that kill plane really sucks. Mm -hmm. And playing in the background is the song called Answers, which is one of the popular Final Fantasy XIV tracks. And it plays really big into um, the game's the, story. Yeah. Both lore and out of lore. Um, the actual game itself, which I will do. At least over all dungeons. I popped Re Requiesque, and I don't think any of it there. Oh well. I was going to try to hit, it with hit him with Conferator, and I didn't get it before he died. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you have the oh, You no. have the other one. Oh no! Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I get targeted by both of them for some reason. It's it's just RNG, but what for whatever reason they love launching the poor little black mage. Yep. This is going to drop something called a neurolink. Uh, there's a mechanic that we will have to stand in that. Technically, we're supposed to. Our HP pools are big enough that we really don't have to. But, but... it still hurts. Yeah, but I still want to because I am squishy. Uh, Black Mage is pretty much the glass cannon class in this game. It does yes. obscene amounts of damage. However, it is extremely fragile. Um, it is the only DPS job in the entire game that has no self-healing abilities. And I'm uh, playing on Paladin right now, so I'm technically a tank, but with two people, it really doesn't matter. Hate's going to go where hate's going to go. should be showing up in a second. Yeah. It gives us really long periods here. Partly because we're killing the enemy so fast. Uh, um, watch out for that Bahamut. Bahamut. Yep. I mean, Bahamut showed up. Not in the context that we want. There it is. There's the, the real one. All right. And Red Bull gives you wings. Big glowy that was terrible. wings. That was bad, and you should feel bad. I mean. And here is us shrugging off the attack that literally destroyed the entire world once. Yeah, pretty much. Is there an opportunity for a donation? I think if I had actually. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Good, because we have a uh, $10 donation from SSPX that says, Great to see Media and Kage on Final Fantasy XIV All Trials Run. Keep slaying those bosses and having fun. Well, we're definitely having fun. Thank you for those awesome words. Um, I think I would have maybe felt bad because if I brought up If It's Raj, you couldn't take them. And that's time. Well, actually, leaving Dungeon is time. My bad. And this one we're actually going. Ooh, you want that? I have it already. Okay. Never agreed on it. Just drop them on me. I'll pick them up. I'll sort them later. And that would be time for this one. <laughs> 